Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Glitter Days Pink Quartz and Essence. Hi Pink Panther. I've started off with Danny Digit's Peel Off Base Coat. And here is Rose Quartz from Glitter Days. And here is Essence Polish. And this one's Hi Pink Panther. So the Glitter Days Peel Off is now Baby Girl Lacquer. Um, there should be a link down in the description box if you are interested. So I'm going in with my first coat of Rose Quartz. It is just so dainty and pretty. Loving it. Hi Woody, how you doing? Working hard. Mom making a mess with that glitter. So that's going on most of my nails, but on my thumb and my ring finger, I am using the High Pink Panther from Essence. And I am getting kind of used to capping my tip first. I just think it smooths it out on the end so much better this way. Um, you know, if you try it and you like it, I mean, I've actually talked to other people that said that's how they do it too. So, um, you know, it's, it's all about what you feel comfortable with and what your preference is. So that essence could totally be a one coater. I'm going in with my second coat of Rose Quartz and it's, I'm still seeing a lot of visible nail lines, so I am going to do a third coat, you know. Hi Woody, again. <laughs> But I am going to do the second coat because you guys know I'm a two-coat person. So even though that totally was opaque in one coat, we're still doing two. Because I like the thickness on my nail. I like, you know, I just feel like they're more protected the thicker I get these manicures. I know that sounds crazy. Some of y'all probably understand though because y'all just as crazy as I am, right? And here we go with that third coat of Rose Quartz. And I can still see a little bit of visible nail line, but I'm not going to mess with it. Three coats is kind of like my limit, you know? It still looks very good. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm going to use the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls to top this all off. Get it to dry all the way down so I can play. And I know a lot of you also think, that girl crazy. She's got to use like, you know, three or four different top coats in a manicure. But they all have different purposes. Um, I'm going to put some of this Glitter Days Rose Quartz out on my mat because I'm going to try a little bit of kind of freehand. Drew, this is for you, girl. She does a lot of freehand, and she's inspired me. So I've got my Robin Wo Moses The Wand, um, and I'm just going to draw lines. I'm not getting all too crazy. You know, baby steps here. I'm not really good at freehand. I don't do very much of it. But I'm just kind of like framing out this nail um, on the edges with these little lines. I know it's kind of hard to see right here, but you'll be able to see it in a little bit. Um, but you got to start somewhere. And I just decided this would be where I'd go with it today. And as you can see, I'm only doing this on my accent nails, which is my thumb and my ring finger. And that's what I suggest for you. If you're trying something new and you're intimidated by it, just do it on an accent nail. That way, if you, you're struggling with it, you only got that one to deal with, or two in my case. So there you go. I'm going to go back in and fill these in a little bit more because that is a rather sheer, you know, polish, that quartz one, the rose quartz is, you know. And this was looking really lumpy, and I was getting a little concerned that when I top coated it, it was going to be bumpy where I did these lines. But amazingly enough, it smoothed totally out. I was so happy with it. As you can see, I'm just framing that out, leaving a little bit of empty space in the center because we're going to do something with that. There we go. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat to get it to dry down so that I can do the next step of this mani, this pink mani. As you can see, that's already starting to kind of blend down. Um, you know, it's smoothing out. I'll be using this Lena Twirls and Swirls 01 plate today, my AliExpress stamper and my clear jelly scraper, the Nicole Diary in S04, the silver, and I'm going to use this swishy design on the pink quartz nails. It's got some little hearts and some little filigree looking look to it, so I'm, I'm just going to run that like kind of down the side 
towards the middle and side of the nails, letting that pink quartz still jump out at you. So I'm doing that on all of the pink quartz nails that would, you know, and then we're going to do something else to the other accent nails because, you know, I'm crazy and like to do too much. But I did like how girly this Manny was. You guys know I like me a girly manicure sometimes. I am cleaning that plate off with pure acetone and a cotton ball using my cotton cloth from Sally's. I don't know if they still carry those or not, uh, you know, but they, I know like a lot of the Born Pretty AliExpress and places like that, they've got something very similar. Um, just something to grab hold of that cotton ball so you don't have to touch it with your fingernails. Mess up your nails. I hate when that happens. So there we go. I'm going to use this little piece of tape to get this up. Now today the silver's just popping up like a dream. I mean, you know, I'm convinced it's body chemistry. I'm going to use this little heart to go inside my little shadow box looking little nails, my accent nails. I just figured it would look cute. And it's such a pretty image. I love it. So I'm plopping that down in the middle. And I think it looks really cute like that. I'm going to top everything off with some Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. Or Smear Free Top Coat. Whatever you want to call it. Um, mine didn't have a name on it, so I'm just going to call it what I want to. And after this dries, I do let this dry before I use my regular top coat. I don't know if it makes a difference or not because I haven't tried it any other way. I'll be using Sesh Vite today to seal this design in. But I'm telling y'all, that rose quartz is just so, so nice. It's just, it's just, I mean, you could wear it all by itself and, and it'd be like you don't have hardly nothing on your nails, but it's got all that twinkle in it. You look down, it makes y'all happy. And that high pink panther, that's, that's a bubblegum pink for sure. And I love bubblegum pink polishes or Barbie pink, whatever you want to call it. Love it. There we go, getting a nice thick glossy top coat on that one and capping that free edge. There we go. So here comes my swatch photo. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.